Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geekabit. I am Penge and it's time for some more Another Brick in the Mall. And look, I've zoomed in on this exciting bit of action going on because look, you there, Deborah Khan, is recovering an item from George Anderson, from Mr. Anderson. So he is surrendering an item, he's got a big red face. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's uh, restless and a shoes collector. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why he's in this shop particularly, maybe this is where he ran to. So yeah, it's good to know that these guys are doing their job. Now I might invest a little bit more in security because they're quite good. That's probably the third or fourth time I've seen them catch something. I mean, I don't know what the value of the goods is that he's nicked. I've no idea. What did he do? What did he do? He's going home. He stole some dishes. <laughs> okay. So he stole some dishes from here and uh, he's been caught stealing the dishes. Okay, right. Well, there you go. Don't steal dishes, everybody. It's naughty. So what have we got? Here we go. We were building this thing, weren't we? So we we're building the store, the big new store, the shiny new thing. And we've got thus far. So there is a store. There is a maintenance thing in the middle. There's a security center that as yet doesn't do anything because there are no actual security guards in it. And there is a restroom in the middle to serve both the patrons of the store and also the uh, employees. So the employees can go in and use the loo because this game has that particular setting switched on that they need the loo and they need food. So here is a vending machine. Now what I am going to do... I'm going to put a vending machine over here as well, and a vending machine over this side when the store is finished. Just so, if you're if you're a cashier just here and you want some food, you don't have to go do 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 food do 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 all the way back. You can go bump bump and get food. If you need the loo tough, you'll have to go to this one in the middle. But whatever, at least that eliminates one long trip if I just put a vending machine over kind of at each side. So another thing, right? What what we're going to do is we're going to leave this running. We're going to start time. Let's see what's going on up here. Has he surrendered his item yet? Yep, he surrendered his item. I did notice there was a little crowd of people watching as well, which is quite funny. I quite like that. So um, all our research is done. All our research is finished. So what we're going to do is it's time to move this office out of the way and this bathroom. We don't need this office here anymore. I mean, we never need the office this big. This was one of the things about playing this game blind, as it were. It was a bit, well, I've, I've built an office. I've no idea. Hello. <laughs> Looking for fresh bread. <laughs> you're, you're wandering around in the park. <laughs> You're not going to find any bread out there. It doesn't grow on trees. You need to go into the shop. Okay. For a former guard. Oh, cool. Bonus security experience. Um, yes, yeah, so this here. It's too big. And we don't need it anymore. We're going to retain one person in a very, very teeny tiny office, which we're going to put just here, to do marketing if we ever need to do that. So, uh, yeah, let's get that done now. We'll build this teeny tiny little place. Uh, and it, that'll do. That big. There, that's absolutely fine. A door, we can put a couple of doors. We can put a door there and whatever, a door there. We'll put some parking next to it as well because that's quite nice. Let's have staff only parking just there and there. Oh, look, we might as well make that. Oh, no, that'll be fine, actually. So if we speed that on, they should be able to build that and get that finished. There's two of them as well. There's a bush in the way. Move the bush. Speed it on, speed it on. Yep, okay, not as speedy as I would hope. There you go, there's loads of builders around here now. This is brilliant. Right, okay, so they'll get that done. Splendid, that works perfectly. It's got a little sort of side bit. Okay, and normal speed, a sign, an office, diddly doodly do, splendid. So yes, there's an office needs a desk and a worker. Now, can we move one of these desks over to this? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, oh, look, I never saw what was actually on the screen because I rotated them around like... um. Like that in the actual office we've got. I never actually saw that there was something on the screen. Look at that. There's a little sort of windowy thing. And they've put post-its on their monitor. What kind of maniac would do that? And a mouse and keyboard and some bits of paper and stuff. So that's good. Right, we'll move uh, that as well. We'll give them some nice uh, accoutrements in their, in their room, which is lovely. They can have a plant, which is nice. I'll give you a little plant next to there. And... Should we put a vending machine in the office? We'll put a vending machine in. Because uh, I like that. I'm nice like that. I like a vending machine. And the water cooler as well. Let's move the water cooler in as well. Like that. Just there. There we go. So all those things are now moved. So that office should be functional. Now all we need to do now is pick the best person. Who is the best at doing officing? Office work 86.12. Office work 88.09. Yeah, okay. So we'll keep... You. We'll keep you. You can move to the new office, which doesn't have a name. Office 42. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll transfer you as an office worker to there, which is good. And you over here, if that's you remaining. 
Nancy Walton. Yeah, uh, the fire is a bit harsh. Make redundant, I think, would be better. But get rid. Get rid. Bye-bye. Fired. There, there we go. So we've saved some money. That's splendid. Right, okay. We can uh, dismantle these things now. Uh, staff? Set staff break policies? What, for everybody? Or just for the guys in the thing? Is that new? I've, have, I've not seen that before. Have they updated the game and I've not noticed? That's new, isn't it? Break policy. We're not busy. Oh, there's a new thing. There's a new thing. There's a new thing. Let's look at the new thing. Right, uh, cashier. Staff break. We're not busy. As needed or never. <laughs> so, okay. So you can tell them to have breaks as they need it. So literally they get hungry and they go, right, I'm going. Or when it's not busy, in which case this place, they'll never have breaks. Or or what was the other option? Never. Yeah, that I can't not let them have breaks. That that way. That way trouble that way rioting happens and, and bad stuff happens. Okay. That's exciting. And that I don't remember this being here either. This products tab on this shop. I don't remember that being there either. I don't remember that being a thing. But okay. So it's got all the different food shelves and all the different everything shelves. Of what we've got, that that's good then. So they are making changes to it. So they're still changing it. Right, is there any more research to be done? Have they added anything else in? No, so there's no more research. Everything else kind of looks more or less the same. Uh, yeah, so fast food demand is demand is really high, yet our sales are quite low. I don't understand that. Bar, uh, fine dining, the demand, the demand, the, the sales outstrip the demand. The yeah, bowling, look, the demand is really high and the sales are really low. I don't really understand. There's a demand of 94. Surely that the bowling place should be absolutely heaving. Again with the cinema. Arcade games? What? What? Arcade ga uh, but, but Yeah? Arcade games? It was an arcade thing. <gasps> Have they got a new thing? Is there a new thing? Security centre, bar, fire dining, office, bowling alley, restroom, maintenance centre, movie, the ticket lobby. Oh. Oh, I thought there was going to be like an arcade, like an arcade lobby or something. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I thought there were, I thought there was going to be, I thought it was going to be an arcade thing. Do you know what we could do? Oh, that's what we could do. That's a good idea. Right, the bowling alley doesn't need to be this big. Cause that never gets used anyway. So let's zone that out. So it's like there. And just there, if they want arcade machines, let's just put in, uh, if I can find them, arcade cabinet. Let's just put in lots of those so we can have them across there. Two grand each. So let's put some across the wall. Let's have five like that. And then we'll put another five. We'll rotate it round. So we'll have five like that and five backed onto it eventually. Because they are. Well, let's do that now, actually. Like that. Look. So we can have a little mini arcade thing. Because certainly in the UK, this, this is a thing. When there's a cinema or there's a bowling alley or something, sometimes there is a little arcade bit nearby. You can go and play lots of arcade machines and there's uh, you know these kind of games and the bikes you sit on and the cars you drive and stuff. Okay, now that's good. I like that. Oh, look. Okay. Okay, that, that that's far more popular than I was expecting it to be. Good. Okay, right. Little arcade bit. And it it's lit up because that is now no longer the bowling alley. So it remains, <laughs> it sort of opens to... People come and use it quite a lot. Five dollars a time. Three dollars. Five dollars. Six dollars. That that will make its money back soon enough. That will make its money back soon enough. We'll turn that into a little a little arcade type place. That's good. Uh, what was I doing? I'm complete. I'm completely distracted. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yes, that's what I was doing. I was doing this little office move, wasn't I? So she's in there in her office having a fun time. Um, the floor. I don't like the floor. We don't like the floor of the office. Let's change it to be uh, that. That floor. That'll do. Looks a bit clinical, but whatever. There you go. You're in office. Good. Have fun there. Uh, these things can go then. These things can go. So we can just go delete, 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 delete. And then all those. Can we do a multiple delete? Mm, no. Oh, no. No, not like that. We can't. Can we sort of do a multiple delete? No, we can't. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, delete, delete. Right, all those things are gone, which is good. Oh, yes, we could have done it in here, couldn't we? Remove objects and stuff. Right, so remove walls. Okay, now we have to be careful because that is a maintenance centre. So we don't really want to destroy the maintenance centre right now. So we need to remove that. So remove those walls, I think. Oh, hang on, pause. Maybe we don't want to remove that wall just yet, actually. 
No, ignore ignore that command. Get rid of that though. That can go. That's fine. Come on. Anyone? Builders? Build the dudes. Hello? Anyone around? Okay, fine. They'll get rid of that. So uh, let's unassign this as an office because it's no longer an office. So yes. And unassign that as a restroom. Proceed. Right, okay. So it's all it's all done. It's all gone. So the office has now been transferred over here. The only thing we have to now think about is this little maintenance room just here. It's in a bit of a weird place. I mean, it's not a bad place. It's in a weird place. So what should I do with that? Who is in here? We've got... Oh, we have an awful lot of people. Oh, there's a million notifications at the bottom. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, it won. It's like there's one missed sale. Yeah, it's fine. I can cope with that. Oh, stop. Just stop sending me these things. Just sit. Stop it. Right, I'm going to go and have a quick look in the... Seriously. I'm going to just... Stop sending me these messages. This is stupid. Um, I'm going to go and have a look in the uh, in the settings to see if there's anything I can do with this. Oh, however. Also, have we got the stock clerk thing going on? I don't know. I don't know. He is. He is. Paul Goodman is still a stock clerk. They've just not bothered to restock the shelves. He's a lazy stock clerk. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Oh, however, I suspect you are not one. You are. You are as well. We'll come to work in 14 hours. Maybe when you next time you come to work. Can you hurry up and stock the shelves? You've only got one job. That's actually your sole job. Right, I'm going to go and see if I can turn off these notifications. I did think about doing it before and completely forgot. You may be surprised to know. So let's see if I can turn these off. Okay, so there is a bit here. There's notifications, so cues. So I'm going to say cues. More than 10, more than 100, more than 1,000. Right, if there's more than 100... What, 100 cues? I don't really understand what that means. Okay, that's fine. So let's put more than 100. So squalor, always tell me. Restrooms, what, if they're dirty or people need them? Always tell me. Rats, always tell me. If people want restaurants, if they're driving away from the place because there's no food, always tell me. Parking problems, I don't think we'll have any parking problems, but let me know. And stock, stock. Now you see, that, that never comes up. I never ever get a stock message and that place should be sending me a stock message going, hello, you're nearly out of stock. Or does it mean that the stock room is empty or something? I don't know, but right, queues more than 100. Let's see if that makes any difference to these alerts coming up because I'll have always have alerts because it says, oh, mix, whatever, was mix meats lost, uh, lost one thing. You think, right, well, that's not that bad, is it? It's not that bad. Just realise he should be at work, shouldn't he? Eight for eight hours. Oh no, has mixed meat's got a bit of a problem going on? Eight for twelve hours. Ah, <laughs> I've not adjusted his hours. There we go. Sorry, Paul Goodman, you've got extra hours to do. But at least you uh, get paid more money. So that's good. Think of it that way. Okay, so we need to sort this little maintenance centre out. Now that's really annoying that that's just there. It's really irritating because we could expand this shop up there. Or we could just build something else up here. We could just build another thing. Or we could just leave it like it is. Do you know what? Right now, let's leave it like it is. I'm not that bothered at the minute. I think that's that's a fun thing. We'll sort that out next time maybe if we have something to build up there. But I don't really know what else to build. Don't really know what else to put together. I'm not entirely sure. How is the restaurant doing? Oh, the restaurant is, is going badly, I would say. <laughs> There is litter. There is litter all over. Why are there soft, like, you know, drinks? It's a fine dining restaurant. Why have you got, like, you know, sort of takeaway type things with the plastic lids and the straws? And and what's that? Bits of paper. Oh, I can hear the cops. I can hear the cops. You're not going to get away with this, are you, Joseph Marsh? You are. You did. Well, goodness me. Okay, that just reiterates the fact that I need to do that. Look. Miss sales opportunities out of stock. Okay, that's fine. Some products are out of stock. Yes, indeed. As this place gets busier, I did throw a few more stock um, stock clerks in. Now, somebody did point out on the um, on the comments and said, "Oh, it's weird how you say stock clerk." Yeah, in the UK, it's a stock clerk. You are a, you're a clerk of the court. You are a stock clerk, even though. It is spelled C L E R K. Now I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. But in America, apparently, it's pronounced with a long e, so it's cl clerk, clerk, clear clerk, clerk. I suppose Captain Clerk. So uh, yeah, it's clerk, stock clerk. But we say stock clerk in the UK, which is which uh, made somebody kind of realise that it was different and go, oh, that's weird. I didn't even know you said it differently. But there you go. So a stock clerk, stock clerk. 
whatever. It makes more sense for it to be clerk because that's how it's spelt, but there we go, never mind. I think we need more cleaners. <laughs> I get the impression we need more cleaners. Unless the janitors have also gone weird. Uh, no, you're all cleaning. You're at home. Okay, let's get ourselves another janitor. Can any of you janit? Nancy Walton fired two days ago. He's back in the queue. Okay. Oh, look. And it tells you how many current janitors you've got. Hang on. This is different as well. Auto close menu, single hire. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, right. Nobody's very good at janitoring, but you, you're quite quick. Oh, you're good as a cashier. I've got no use for you quite yet. You're very quick, though. In fact, no, you're Ke Kenny Kim, 34, 34 years old and the rest. Uh, you're very good. We'll have you because you're super fast. So we'll have you. Uh, now, what hours do they work? So we've got a bit of a gap down here where there are no cleaners. So how about you come in at, say, 6 a.m. for eight hours? And that means we've always got at least one person on, if not two. That's quite good. So we'll have another cleaner in. Well, janitor, whatever. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're going to leave that as it is. The office is sorted. That's all sorted. Oh, it's all sort of okay. It's all looking kind of fine. Let's go back down here then and see what we can do with the rest of this. So build, how many more foundation bits can we get? So it's eight and a half grand for just one row of it. So we can build ourselves up to there, say. So nine, 94 grand could build quite a big chunk onto the side of the store, actually. In fact, we could just stretch it out there. That goes quite nicely with the wall bit just there. So what I think is we're going to build that bit. What is this? We hours game stock issues. That's fine. That's fine. I can cope with that. We'll sort that out. Uh, some products are out of stock still. Yeah, it's a bit worrying, actually, isn't it? It's a little bit worrying. Yeah, the shelves are looking a little bit bare. Okay, yeah, they're doing their, they're doing their best. They're doing their best to get the stock stuff in. They're absolutely flying around. Look, going right quick. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, you have a very red face. You have a red face. No, not you. You're a customer. You, employee. You, filling shelves. Hunger and bladder are full. And her, and her teeth are coming out. Oh, Joanna Solomon. Do you know what? Do you know what we need to do? Because that's not going to help their productivity, is it? If they're running around really needing the toilet, that's not going to help their things, is it? Hang on, we have no stop clocks at some point. Around midnight, we have nobody at all. Oh, well, we have to sort that out. Right, staff break policies, stock clerks, as needed. You, j j apply to all? Oh, no, no, that, that's a bit of a, that's a crazy button. Okay, just stock clerks for here, yes. So, when you need to go, you go. There you go. Oh, that's much better, I bet. Um, she's already hungry, though. She's getting hungry already. Where's she going to go? Let's follow her. So, is she going to go down to the vending machine? Well, I've just, you can have a break. Go and get yourself a sandwich or something from the vending machine. Go and get yourself a bag of crisps. Come on. Or chips if you're in America. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Sort yourself out. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, we need the stock clock then for... um. Oh, yes. And Hannah Dunlap will do just fine because you're quite quick and you've got a bit of stock clerkery skills. Uh, and you can come in, say, at... Let's get you in at 10. 10 at night for 8 hours. Why is there a naught? Don't understand. Alright, go lower than that. There. So, right. Okay, so come in at eight then at night time there you go that'll do come in at eight which is sort of around there and there's a spike up to two presumably three four i wish there were this this was better i this graph thing confuses me maybe it's just i'm not used to graphs i don't like the fact it doesn't have naught on it i'd like the graph to remain at naught i'd like to, be able to see where there was nobody but now the the bottom line now has turned into one which confuses me because i'm stupid so let's have you doing that and let's have you working those hours just there. So let's do that. That'll do. There we go. We've got an extra person in to help stock the shelves. Right. Uh, yep. Yep. There we go. Splendid. And people are leaving because there's none of cashiers as well. But hopefully when this store is done, they can do that. There's four builders on site. Is there really? Are there four builders? We've got some in here, haven't we? How many builders have we got in here? Two in there. Oh, so there's two elsewhere, is there? And they've all gone home at the same time. Great. Okay, that that's really good. Yay. Yay for builders going home at the same time. Um, 101 people because the checkout queues are full. Yeah, I don't. we can't really do much more about that. I think that's it. The problem, she's not got anyone in her queue. Ah, I wonder if they've adjusted how that works. Because shit, there was a cashier stood here. But look, no one's going into that queue at all because it's next to the doors. 
Oh dear, so we've lost a queuing sort of space there because the, the door, all that security thing is there. Uh, do we want to move that thing? Should we just move it to just there, say? Does that make a queue? Ah, right, yes, because that was in the way of the queue. Okay, that might help a little bit. That might alleviate the queue woes slightly. You need to go to the toilet and have something to eat because otherwise you're going to explode, Harry Sanchez. Please don't do that all over my store. Uh, okay, now is that down here done? Have they finished? Yes, they put the wall bits in anyway. So now we can remove that wall, which is fine. Yep. Yeah. Pop a few of the staff doors in across the back. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure that they're consistent across the back because this is just going to be the back of the shop. So let's see how how can I do this? Let's have one every. Uh, well, let's have one at the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Every fifteen. So let me go through and put doors across every fifteen. This is a bit silly, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right. Let let me do this because this is probably incredibly dull to watch. I imagine. Right, okay, now we have a bit of a problem. Oh, it's all going a bit wrong. They've changed the... Maybe in this update they've made it a little harder to to play because I'm certainly getting a lot more things of there are problems rather than just people leaving because of queues. We've got lots of stock problems. Rats are spawning at your centre due to the squalor. But now clearly they've sorted that out. So that's fine. Customers are leaving mixed meats because that's now got stock problems. And then there was something like 120 people left Sergeant Curry Pants clothing or something because of stock problems as well which is that's just a crazy amount of stuff so i think everything's kind of back and intact now now i am going to go to this maintenance center and uh, do i want to go to that one is there a maintenance center there yes there is right let's get another janitor up here let's get another janitor because you can never have too many janitors uh, okay you're very quick you're good you will learn the ways of the janitor and uh, yeah you can start uh there that'll do you can start late so you can deal with the late stuff okay right finally down here look the store the store has been expanded so a uh, store let's drag that out to there so it's a very big store it's a very very big store and we want to get the uh checkout counters in because i want to see how it looks so yeah one two three four Five and another one. Six. Okay, so it's looking good. That's looking that's a nice amount of checkout counters. That is very good. Okay, and you know what? We can put I don't know why there isn't one. Oh no, because we need to put it there, but we can't have the queue in it, of course, because there is a wall, of course. So I think what we do is, in order to try and maximize what we've got in terms of profit from this, I think we start opening this shop. We, we make this into an actual workable, serviceable thing. Because at the minute, it doesn't do anything. It's just sitting here. We've got another 102 grand. So we could expand the store out a bit more. But I think we make it actually work. We actually start opening the store and see what happens. So let's make it go open for 24 hours. Because we're clearly mad. So we've got ourselves the cashier, the checkout desks, which is fine. And now we can spend that 100 grand on putting stuff in the shop oh my goodness me this is going to be a big build this is going to be very very big and very complicated right so food shelves so i'm gonna have let's try and think about how this could work i'm going to have food stuff now do we want that on the end where is it tables what can that sell? Fresh fruit, fresh veg, bread, jewelry, camera. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a bit over here which sells all that sort of electronic -y stuff. Now, I've realised in front of each of those doors, because I've got so many doors, I'm going to have to have the little electronic taggy things if I want to secure all my laptops and whatever. And maybe I'll take out a few doors, possibly. I quite like the fact there's doors everywhere, so no one gets queued up. You can just walk out the doors, which is a bit stupid, walk out the doors and then into the road. But never mind, let's not let's not pay attention to the fact that we're going to be walking out with our shopping into a busy road. But ignore that. That's That's fine. So what I want to do is I want to have like the, the technology bit because this is going to be a big store that sells everything, everything, lots of everything. So I'm going to have that kind of down in the corner somewhere. So we won't bother with that now. So over here, we can have ourselves like lots of rows of stuff. So let's start with food shelves. That's always a good thing. So we're going to have it in aisles because I like aisles. 
Let me just make sure that I do it right so we can have the right amount of aisles so we can uh, get gaps and stuff. Now, do I want to have a gap of two spaces between the aisles? So do I have one there and one there on the other side of the aisle and then have two a gap of two squares and then have two more shelves? I think that's what I'll do. I shall have that. 110 people for Diana's drinks. How popular is Diana's drinks? Good grief. Okay, fine. It's very popular. And there's nobody in that shop at all. There is no stock. There is nothing here. This shop has one stock clerk. The stock clerk and the cashier are not in this shop. Hang on. Clearly there is something amiss just here. What's happened to the stock clerk? At home. We'll come to work in 14 hours. Why are you not here now? You're supposed to be here at 8 o'clock working for 12 hours. Is it because you're an alcoholic? <laughs> Hang on, what shop are you in? Oh, Fred's Fish. I was thinking you were going to be in like the liquor store. Um, no, so I've hired an alcoholic. Uh, and and they're literally not clean, not at work. Brilliant. Okay, but at least uh, at least uh, Duke Newcomb is robbing you. What did you rob, by the way, out of your interest? <gasps> Booze. Couldn't resist liquor. Yes, you were also an alcoholic. Okay, I'm very sorry. I hope you cure your alcoholism problem soon, Oliver Hutchinson. That's not nice. Right. Let's get back on this. Let's get back <laughs> back on the actual thing. Uh, yeah, so I want to make sure that the shelves are in a nice alignment. So let me try and just work out how to do that. Do you know what I'm going to do to help me? Let's just build this bit out and that will help me a great deal. So let's get to build that and then I'll start putting some shelves and stuff in. Okay, it's going to look a bit something like this. That takes a long while to do because you can't just drag those. You have to click them individually to place each individual shelf. So what I'm going to do is we'll have aisles like that. And then I think at the end of the aisles, we'll put fridges across the bottom side of these. So that can have fridges, which is good. And then let's put shelves across the top, or tables across the top. Uh, no, tables, no, shelves. Shelves, more so you can put like, you know, whatever, tooth care or cosmetics or shoes or whatever across the top. And then this bit here, we're then going to have full of shelves. I've just used those as markers for now, so we can get rid of those. So there can be a load of shelves going up here, eventually, maybe from here onwards. So that can still be food. These three can be food, and then all the sort of toiletry stuff. So shelves are stuff like, you know, we'll have first aid, and drugs, and whatever, diapers, and toilet paper. We'll have all those going up this side here, pretty much to the top. So that's quite cool. So yeah, these are going to be uh, food shelves still. So let's drop more food shelves in. Yeah, now, I, I, <laughs> while I've been doing this, I'm having a, a terrible feeling this just isn't going to work. <laughs> it's just, just going to go horribly wrong. Oh, yeah, we want a frozen food bit as well. That's going to kind of go over here somewhere, the frozen food bit. That can go over here with lots of fridges. So we've got some fridge at the bottom, at the bottom here. That's fine. We're going to put a couple of fridges at the top here as well, like so. Right, and... Um, uh, yeah, we want the shelves, which has the goodies in. Yeah, there, sort of soda and candies and stuff. So whilst people are in the queues as well, we want to get those in. So just while you're in the queue, get yourself some sweets and some goodies. Yummy yums, some yum yums. Uh, let's have two lots, actually. Oh, this is going to be impossible, isn't it? Doing this is going to be impossible. It's going to be so hard to manage. It's going to have to about 40 stock clocks. It's going to be an absolute <laughs> nightmare to sort out. So those three can be uh, those type of shelves. Yeah, and these four then, we're going to have normal shelves. So they can, don't be food shelves, they're normal shelves. Tables, we'll have a fresh aisle, fresh food and fruit, whatever aisle, down here somewhere. Then we'll have a freezer bit. Then we'll have a little bit in the corner with all this other stuff. So yeah, that's quite cool. I like that. That's a good plan for now. Uh, in fact, we could do that now. We could put those, those shelves in because this is still going to be food. So yeah, food, lots of food, diddly doodly do. Do, 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 this sort of thing, all the way down. It took a long time to do all this, it took a long, long time. So right now, this shop is just going to sell food, as you can probably tell from uh, from this setup here. So that's good. Now, what else do we need? We need to stock the shelves. So I'm now going to need to go through and designate all of these. Now, it's fortunate that this exists because then we can draw products on, oh, praise be. I'm so glad this is that. I have to right click everything. I'll be there forever. So um, this one can be snacks. Bosh, oh, that is that is perfect. That is tremendous. And uh, that can be cookies. Yay, <laughs> that was nice and easy. I like that. Okay, what can go in those? What can go in a, a fridge? I can't remember what goes in fridges. So, uh, Soda, bottled water, beer, ice cream, milk, dairy, fresh stuff. We'll have 
like fresh meat and frozen veg and stuff in another one. So this can be just, let's have bottled water for those ones. We'll have bottled water for those and then we might designate like ice cream for three of them. Across the bottom, beer, milk and stuff like that. In fact, milk's always going to be useful, isn't it? But those three can be uh, bottled water. So that can be bottled water, which is fine. Uh, let's have those across the bottom as beer. So five beers. And then, was there ice cream somewhere? Yeah, we'll have three ice creams like that. Oh, and then we're going to build one more. Fridge, just there. That's good. Hey, we want fridge at the end of these as well, don't we? One, two, three, four, five six so many things so many shelves <laughs> this is just not gonna work i'm really worried that it's not gonna work oh no this is i think this is gonna go horribly wrong but okay let's let's play anyway let's just get on with it let's see how it works uh right what else do we want to put in there we've got bottled water let's put some more bottled water and whatever that's always popular isn't it and um we could, we could always look at the needs thing. You know, the important thing that we unlock that tells people what they want. So, uh, soda. Soda's a thing that they might want. That's that's certainly in demand and stuff. So let's put soda in, if I can find where it is. Uh, there! Soda can go onto those just there. Right, okay. So that's those things. That rats? Where are rats? Where? Where rats? Where, where? Uh, oh, just there, is it? Oh, there's rats. That why is there so much rubbish around this place? This place, is there not? Where are the cleaners for this place? Where are the cleaners? Where are all the janitors? You going to work? Found a park has arrived at work. Twenty-one thirty-six. What are you doing? Just hurry up and do some cleaning. No, not up there. Oh, there is a bag there though. You can get that bag. That's good. We need more cleaners, I think, because this place is absolutely filthy. Look at it. And there's rats. Okay, we'll sort that out in a minute as well. We need more cleaners. Okay, what are we going to do with all these shelves? Because this is this is this is crazy. So, uh, yeah, food, food shelves, lots of food shelves. So, uh, canned food. Let's have a whole aisle of canned food, shall we? That's good. So, a whole aisle of canned food, and on the other side, uh, we could have. Should we have a drinks bit? We've got soda, we've got bottled water, beer. Beer and wine, we can have half of that of beer and half of it of wine. Should we have a whole side of beer and a whole side of wine? Because you do have that here in the UK. There are certainly shops like that. Yeah, let's do that. So let's have a sign. Beer. Oh, it's sort of done half of it for me. And there. So those ones there. Wine on the other half. Wow. I'm the biggest fan of wine. Right, so that's that done. <laughs> that's an awful lot. Uh, then we'll have soda, I think, going all the way down that other one. So soda all the way down there. Uh, and then what do we want down there? So canned food is always a good thing. So we'll put canned food along one side. Uh, and then what about breakfast cereal? All the way down one of those, like that. That's good. We like that. Right, we can have a snacks and cookies thing. So let's have that over this side then. So, oh yeah, we can't get to that bit. We'll leave those shelves on the right on their own. So that can be snacks. That can be cookies. Had a mild little break there for a little bit of tea. Right, okay. And, uh, yeah, we want... So one of these had, yeah, sauces and seasoning. We'll have that there next to rice and pasta on the other side. Uh, then we had, yeah, sliced bread. That might go very well. Sliced bread is good. Uh, and what else was there? Tea, coffee and tea. Yeah, we'll certainly have coffee and tea. Uh, pet food. Now, pet food might sell well. We'll have a big aisle of pet food. What else don't we have much of? Now, this is where this is quite handy, so it tells you. So we've not got much, actually, food in the way of candies. So candies, we haven't got. Sliced bread, coffee and tea. Okay, or beverages. So juices. We could have juices and we could have liquor. So let's put... Uh, assign liquor to a sm not not those ones that one there and then juices just just juice where were they juices okay okay I've gone I've gone mad oh we could put these in can't we? we haven't got anything that sells like utilities yet I completely forgot about that right okay those there and then we've got ourselves some more stuff <laughs> got some some more shelves oh good how about 
candies on one of them, and then coffee and tea again on the other side. I mean, one could be coffee and one could be tea. So uh, let's go to do, 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 scrolly scrolls. Uh, in fact, canned food is always good. That's always a good thing to have. And then candies on the other side. Okay, right. This looks good. Who are you? Who are you going up? You found a parking spot. Where do you work? You, uh, why are you parked all the way down here? There's loads of car parking spaces everywhere. And you've parked at the furthest point away. You are clearly a lunatic. Okay, so we have all those shelves designated as something, as, as food products. So those three are going to be... Uh, I don't, do we need that many more food shelves? I think we've covered all of those food things, haven't we? We've covered all of those. Unless we just put some more. But yeah, I think, is there more more variety in if we then put those... Yeah, there's more variety in those shelves. So how about we just have all of those now? So we'll mark those out like that. Do, do, do like this. Yep, good. Like that. And then we'll take those away. So, uh, yeah, can we just do the build thing? Just remove remove objects. Remove walls, objects. Yeah, that one. So remove all those objects. Speed time on. Let's get that done. And then we'll put those back in as shelves like that. And then they can go up to the top and they can just have loads and loads of things on them. They can have absolutely loads of stuff. Uh, also, there's a bit of a hole in the wall there. Right, and while I've been faffing about doing that, we've got 184 grand. So can we build ourselves any more of this? Uh, we're not too far away from being able to build the whole thing. So what I might do is wait for maybe a couple of days until day 272 maybe, and we'll have, I think, enough money to then build that whole bit out, and we have to do this all properly and open it all properly in one big go. However, I do want to do that because, uh, oh, let's stretch it out to there actually. Let's do that bit as well, because it's annoying having these shelves sort of just stuck with only one side on them. So uh, yeah, let's get that built, and then let's get this bit built. So yeah, how much of that can we do now? Oh, just shy. So uh, yeah, let's get all that built, let's do that, and then we'll come back. Okay, while they're doing the big building project, I am going to address something just here. So let's just slow time down a second. So we want to sort this out as well, because... I keep getting stuff saying, ah, Catface Entertainment, the queues are too full, we can't buy stuff. That's not Catface Entertainment, is it? That's uh, that's the Couch Bum Gadgets. That's Catface Entertainment. Do you know what? Whatever. They can have a checkout counter anyway. Fill your boots. So, uh, yeah, let's put one of those in there. And we want to get ourselves another cashier. So we want another cashier to come in and work those stupid hours at 8 o'clock to 12. Hire a cashier. Uh, is there anyone that is good at cashiering? Oh, Naomi Hardin. I mean, you're very patient, but you're the slowest person I've ever seen. Uh, you, Alec Bowman, you'll do. You, I mean, you might scare them away with your crazy face, but you'll do. You can start at 8 and work for 12 hours as well. So we've got double the amount of cues now in Catface Entertainment, which is good. Right, how are they doing with the thing? Yep, yeah, not quite finished yet, but they're getting on with it. I earned enough money to then fill in that last bit. So they're getting on with it. So, uh, yeah, back to the waiting we go. And there we have it. So, the store is outlined. So, look at that. Right, now I have the job of going in and putting all those things in. And I've got 40 grand left, so I might need to get paid. But yeah, so we're going to put, on, put in the rest of the checkout counters. So, this might be quite expensive because they're $1,000 each. So, yeah, we could do with we could do with getting paid some more money, to be honest. And we're going to put all the shelves in. So, yeah, this this... I'm now thinking this place is a bit of a gamble. It'll be fine, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine and it will work superbly. Mm, yes, I'm sure it's... No, I'm sure it'll be good. Yes, yeah, see, down here, look, we're going to put stuff like this stuff. Like washing machines and dishwashers and drying machines. <laughs> to dry yourself after a shower? Who knows? So, um, yeah, we'll put those in as well. But, uh, yeah, to start with, I think it's just time to get all these things in. So, yeah, more of these shelves because these things are going to go in. And then all that is going to be populated as well with fridges at the end. So let me go and do that. Okay, at great length. They finally put all these in. That took so long to do. It took so long to click all of those shelves into place one by one individually. Oh, dearie me. Right, okay. So what can go in these fridges at the bottom then? Now, I just read the good thing about this game is I can sort of just leave it running. I'm leaving... I've just done all that on super fast speed. Everyone's kind of just getting on with stuff. It's fairly autonomous. Stuff's happening. I, I don't know if they've... Maybe they've sorted the stock clock bug out. Maybe in this recent update, they've actually sorted that bug out. I'm not sure. Because, um, 
Yeah, it seems to me that it's not happening much, if at all. So I don't know if it's now sorted itself out and that it's gone. However, there is no cashier in this shop. There is no cashier. Why is there not a cashier? We'll come, come to work. Going home. So you're going home at 9 o'clock. Hang on, what? 12 till 12? Why are you going home at 9 o'clock? You're a customer. There we go. Oh, and just as I said, that's why nobody is buying anything. So Elizabeth Schroeder of Mr. G's. Where is Mr. G's? Now, this does become a little bit hard to manage, doesn't it? Mr. G's fast food as a cashier. Yes, transfer you back into your own body. Um, yeah, you're coming to work in three hours. You're both going to be there in three hours. No. No, because now you're both taking on the same times. And that's not right, is it? That 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 is bad, because that means that nobody is there from 8 o'clock. Hang on a minute, how did that ever work? Is this open 24 hours a day? That's open 24 hours a day. There's two cashiers and they're both working 8 hours. That does not does not compute. Danger, Will Robinson. Right, 12 hours and then you can come in at lunchtime and work. Do, 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 12 hours, we've got one person on all the time. Right, okay. That probably didn't help matters, did it? Maybe Mr. G's might make some money now, which is good. Uh, so, yes, right, we need to zone these things out. And then, then I think what we're going to do is we'll zone these and then we will leave it. I think we'll leave it for this part. And the next time round, I will have hired people. So I'll hire all the stock people first. And then it'll be a case of hiring the cashiers. And then people will start flooding in and using the thing. And it'll be all very dramatic and exciting. So the grand opening will be next time. But for now, let's zone these things out. So um, across the top, we can have ourselves... I'd love to filter this on the, the item. I'd love to filter this on say, right, I'm, I'm building a fridge. I want to populate a fridge. What can I put in a fridge? Because this puts everything on. Like I, could, I can't put deodorants in a fridge. So yeah, it's a, bit, it's a little bit annoying that that's there. Right, frozen veg. Drop that into four of those. Frozen fish can go into that. Frozen pizzas, yes, all those at the bottom. All those at the bottom can be frozen pizzas. In fact, no, there's a, there's meat somewhere, isn't there? Fresh meat down the bottom, just there. Right, now the next lot of these things. So what is next? So detergents can go down that end. Yep, good. Soap and shampoo, a whole load of them there. Cosmetics, yeah, good. Tooth care. Yeah, just there. Deodorants, massive load of deodorants. Shaving cream and razors. We all need absolutely tons of that. Uh, diapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the other side to toilet paper. Very similar purposes. Uh, what else is there? Light bulbs and electricity. I'll come to buy some electricity off the shelves. Okie doke. Um, okay, what else goes on those shelves other than those things? Uh, okay, so we've got Ah, yes, of course. So we won't put clothing on, I don't think. So we've got hand tools and power tools we could put down on one side. Uh, and yes, first aid and drugs. Why have I missed first aid? Oh, because they've come down here for some reason. Okay, so that can be first aid opposite the drug side, like that. And then there was uh, hand tools, which is a bit weird, next to power tools which is also a bit weird but whatever uh what can we have the last two lot as what haven't we got much of so household items bed sheets cookware and dishes we could have health and beauty ah pads and tampons we need some of that we need an aisle of that uh we'll have that on the well i don't the next one doesn't really matter does it tools of car tools and then all the other stuff so clothing yeah i don't want this to be a clothing immediate bit this is a generic bit yeah i've put some tools in there whatever so uh what was that pads Tampons, car tools. So that's two. So then we need another two aisles. What's what's going to be popular? I should put some of that in. Bed sheet, cookware, dishes. So yeah. So we'll have pads, tampons, bed sheet, cookware, dishes. Yeah, that'll do. Right, a sign. Uh, where are they? Where are those things? So bed sheets. Well, I mean, I don't know why you need quite so many bed sheets. Bed sheets. Uh, why is it not all in a nice order? Why is it all confusing? <laughs> Where is everything? Why is it all in such a weird order? Right, hang on. Let, let me find where the things are. Right, that's uh, cookware. Right, so then we'll have cookware. Then we'll have dishes, like that. And then pads, tampons, and card at the end. There, and that is all sorted. All right, it's all finally done. Right, okay. So all the household items are done. Health and beauty, we've got plenty of those. Tools, car tools, we've got some. We'll put some across the other side. Media and toys and clothing, I want over 
in uh, this bit of the store. I want over that side. I don't want just here. Uh, I'm going to put them over there. This, this corner bit is going to be like all the jewellery and electronic stuff and um, other bits of TVs and whatever else. And we'll have to digitally protect all those things there. But there we go. So store 44. Also, it will have to have a name next time. I imagine we'll be able, if I speed time on, in fact, what we might do is, that's a good idea. I will come back next part and I will have built this bit. There's a plan. We'll have this bit all built out with all the shelves and stuff in and all the checkout things. And I will go through uh, and and sort of put stuff on the shelves. I'll put stuff on the shelves and set the shelves. And then we will have the grand opening of Store 44. But it obviously won't be called that because it will have a name eventually. I love that the, the delivery trucks are here to deliver the stuff. But there's no one actually working here to then do the stuff. Is it? Uh, I know they're... So they're delivering something that's all the way up here. Why not just park in the delivery bays along here? There's what there's some there. Anyway, whatever. Never mind. They're being stupid. That's their own fault. They're wasting their own time. Good. So uh, yes, next time out, store 44, but with the proper name, will open. And we will see if it works or if it is an absolute unmitigated disaster. I know which one I'm putting my money on. But there we go. If you have liked this, please do leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe too. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered and I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammery thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes, I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks, spanners, a brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.